Hi, this is Dr. Andy Barlow with the Chiropractic Neurology Center of Tupelo. I'm also the founder and one of six instructors for the American Functional Neurology Institute, and we can be found online at afniseminars.com. Today, what we're going to be talking about is knee pain. And we're talking about chronic knee pain, not an acute injury where somebody is in the football game and they're hit from the side or those kind of things. We're talking about chronic, chronic knee pain. Chronic is defined as anything longer than 12 weeks. So one of the things that we need to focus on when we're, when we're looking at chronic knee pain is we need to look at the neurokinetic chain. And what this means is we have a person who has knee pain, but we have to look at the origin of where the nerves come out of the lumbar spine, and we have to trace that nerve pathway all the way to the knee. So what we're talking about here is I've drawn out the lumbosacral plexus, <clears throat> and when we're dealing with knee pain, these nerves really don't concern us that much with knee pain, except for the ones I'm going to draw out here. We have a nerve that comes out from L2, L3, and L4. This nerve that comes out is called the obturator nerve, and the, the main one that we're concerned with here is the femoral nerve. Now the reason for the femoral nerve <clears throat> is the femoral nerve comes down and it controls the quadriceps. It also controls the vastus medialis, which is the medial part of the knee, and the vastus lateralis. Now this is huge because what will happen is if a person has stenosis in the lumbar spine at 2, 3, or 4, we can have nerve damage with this femoral nerve. And what this is going to cause is hypotonia in the quadriceps, vastus medialis, and lateralis. And then we have this problem for 10, 15, 20 years, and then a person comes in with chronic degenerative knee pain. So we have to look at this L2, 3, and 4 area because of the femoral nerve. Now the next area we need to look at <coughs> is also L4, 5, S1, S2, and in some situations S3. The main point that we want to look at here, this is part of the sciatic nerve. Mainly, what we're looking at here is L5. L5. The reason this is extremely important with L5 is L5 comes out of the lumbar spine, goes down the back of the leg into the popliteus. Now, this is important, which is in the back of the leg. There's a muscle in the back of the leg called the popliteus, and it's the key that unlocks the knee. So if we have damage at L5 area, and we need to see this on x-ray, if we have problems there, we're going to have to decompress this spine, or we're going to have to do some type of traction to get the pressure off the nerve at L5. So a key component with chronic knee pain is we have to look at the neurokinetic chain, we have to do a neurological exam. We have to take x-rays and see if there's any problem at L2, 3, and 4, mainly here at L4 with the femoral nerve, which is going to cause the quadriceps, vastus medialis, and lateralis to be, become hypotonic. The knee gets sloppy over time. Then we have degeneration of the knee. We also have to look at degeneration at L5. The reason is that's part of the sciatic nerve that goes to the popliteus, which is in the back of the leg. The popliteus is the muscle that unlocks the knee every time you move. So, since we've drawn out this pathway here, so you can see why we want to look at the lumbar spine, <clears throat> we also want to look at the laser therapy. I have four different lasers, or four lasers in my clinic. Today I'm going to show you the M6 laser, and when we have a knee problem, why in the world would we want to do decompression or traction of the lumbar spine? I've just shown you. Why would we want to possibly laser the lumbar spine? I've just shown you. And then we want to go in and we want to laser the knee, okay, in the front and in the back. Now what we're going to do next is we're actually going to go into our laser room and we're going to show you exactly where we would shoot this laser if you came in with this health problem with a chronic, chronic knee problem. Okay, well we're back and this is the M6 laser. This is a 25 watt laser. An incredibly powerful laser. The beautiful thing about this is it's a class 4 and it's unassisted therapy. Uh, we can see here, well we have fours here which are a back off the CA. Uh, there's 20 something programs that are in this, it's pre-programmed. And we have an XY coordinate system. So if we can get the camera to come down here. We actually have a crosshair and we can control 
how big this crosshair gets. And whenever we hit the start button, what's going to happen is wherever the crosshair is, this is going to paint this area. So now all I have to do is just hit the start button. And we're going to say that, that Forrest here had uh, chronic knee pain on the inside of his leg. So we're going to set here, and this is just going to paint back and forth on the inside of his leg. And I have it set for 10 minutes. And uh, you can set it for 5, 10, whatever the patient would need for uh, this type of specific laser therapy. So when we are dealing with patients with chronic knee pain, the least we're going to have to do is shoot the knee on the front of the area of pain. Then we're going to turn forward over here in just a minute. We're going to shoot the back of the knee, which is the popliteal, popliteal fossa, or the popliteus. Now also, it would not be uncommon for me to shoot the laser in the lumbar spine, again, because of the neurokinetic chain. The nerves that make it to the knee come out of the lumbar spine at L2, 3, and 4 for the femoral nerve, and L5 for the popliteus. So, uh, of course, what we would do is, if you, I can get you just a layover to turn over for me, please. Thank you so much. So, the time has elapsed, the computer's gone off, or the, the, the laser's gone off, and now what we would do is come in here, and we would shoot the laser uh, on the pop lydicus. And so I'll have to stop this. And give me just a second for it to reprogram. And we come in here. And we shoot it right on the pop lydicus. And then we get the start button. And literally we just walk out of the room. And that's the beautiful thing about this laser. It's a 25 watt class 4 laser. As you can clearly see, hopefully on the video, we're shooting a beam about this big into the area uh, that's affected in which we need to decrease inflammation, decrease pain, and allow the tissues to heal. So again, when we're doing our exam and we're taking our x-rays, we have to be able to do a neurological exam to see if we've got L4 and L5 that's damaged. We need to look at the x-rays to see if we've got problems with L4 or L5. We may have to shoot the laser at L4 or L5 at the pop lydius, minimum pop lydius, and at the area of pain. The next step that we're going to do is I'm going to show you the back on tracks um, traction unit that we have that is a wonderful piece of equipment to get the pressure off the nerves coming out of the lumbar spine. Okay, now the next piece of the puzzle with patients suffering from chronic knee pain is we have to look at their lumbar spine. Now what we have here is the back on track system. And you can find this awesome piece of equipment on back on track, and that's spelled back, B-A-C-K, on, and then track, T-R-A-C dot com, back on track dot com. So let's just look at this fabulous piece of equipment. It has 15 pre-programs that we can have on this. So the patient sits here. The beautiful thing about this, it literally takes you about 15 minutes for my staff to get a patient in this. The reason we're doing this is because almost all of our chronic pain patients have problems at L4 and L5. Why would that be a problem? Femoral nerve and then also the sciatic nerve from L5 going to the pop lydicus. Now, so we're going to pre-program this. Uh, it has 15 programs. We're going to hit the start button. And then it also has vibration that I'm not going to turn on just for the sake of me being able to talk. Now, we also have the rebuild. Now, if we have a problem at L5, we have a problem at L5, we can actually do specific tests on the code to find out if we've got damage, not only that's affecting L5, but also the stenosis with the pop lydius and we need to stimulate that whole nerve pathway all the way down to the bottom of the feet. We have a 15 second delay. Normally we'd already have this set up, but for uh, teaching purposes here, we're going to put this on the bottom of the foot, bottom of the foot, and then we're going to turn this rebuilder on to actually help uh, stimulate the nerve pathway. And we're going to strap them in right here. You can see that the table's already distracting out right here. If we can get a picture right here, it's tracking out. A little bit right there for me. So we just have this little handle so they have something to do with their hands. Now this program that we have here, this is going to distract out four inches, and then we're going to laterally flex the spine 20 degrees, and we're going to laterally flex, uh, laterally flex it 10 degrees to the left and the right. Now, please understand this has 15 different programs. We can distract it and let off 100%. We can distract it and let it off 50%. We can swing the legs to the uh, left 10 degrees, to the right 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and 20 degrees. So, again, 
This is the most extreme protocol that they have. Of course, you don't start a patient here, you start them slower than this. So, hopefully this has helped you out with, uh, with the knee pain protocol that we have. If you're a patient, this is the minimum that we're going to do. We may have to do other therapies. I don't know until we do our neurological exam and look at your x-rays, look at the neurokinetic chain, and look at you from a functional neurology standpoint to see exactly what's the root cause of this knee problem. For doctors, if you have any questions for me or staff, I mean, or patients, you can actually call my clinic at 662-844-1414. Once again, I'm Dr. Andy Barlow. I'm a board-certified chiropractic neurologist, and I hope this has been very educational for the doctors and patients. Thank you so much.